Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today we're doing another haul video on more stuff that we picked up at the Goodwill bins. Y'all, I have sneezed probably about 10 times straight so now I feel congested. But not sick but it's freezing in my house. We've had the windows open. Sorry y'all who are having uh, snow and stuff. We've had our windows open probably a week, but we forgot to close them last night. So we woke up, it was a little bit cold, but it's supposed to be in the sixties and seventies all week. So I ain't going to, I'm not flipping the heat back on just because I'm a little cool while he stands here with shorts on. Cause but it's not cold in the house yet. It's cold in the house, but my allergies, sorry guys, sorry, sorry, but lots of plush in this one, some smalls. Um, so let's see how far we get into it. Of course, I had to pick this out. This is Toys R Us, possibly Animal Alley, but German Shepherds. I do very well with plush that look like real breeds of dogs. So I'm hoping maybe 15 to 20 for it. Let me show you one of the, the smalls. Pretty sure that, well, I know this is Briar. A lot of them I list for about $10. There are some that sell for more, but you know, they're not heavy at all. So I pick them up anytime I find them. I have quite a few of these down in the bag. These are Fisher Price Pika Blocks. These are the um, textured ones. A lot of people use the word sensory also. They've just got tags and rough spots and just different things that kids can play with. There are collectors for these. Um, a lot of parents still like them for their kids, but there are collectors for everything that you can think of. But I will probably make a lot of these. Maybe list it for, I don't know, 15, 20 dollars for the lot, but we'll see. I don't have a clue, but y'all look at this. And this was in the bins. But it's Marie Osmond dolls. It says Christmas. Oh, look how absolutely adorable. Little Raggedy Ann and Andy mini dolls. They've got hooks on them, so I'm, yeah, they're ornaments. But in the bins, I had to save them. All right, lots of small plush. This is Walmart. Look how cute. Absolutely adorable. Probably bread and butter. This is intriguing me. It says Kitty Pillars and the Puppelons by Aurora. Obviously a little cat. Fairy stuff on it. Very cute. Definitely needs a bath. I'm going to say maybe $12 or so for it. You think those wings will survive the washing machine? I think so. I don't have an agitator in my washing machines, but if you do, then a lot of these plush I wouldn't wash in the washing machines without extra protection. But I think that one should be all right. All right. What? So you said kitty pillars, right? Mm-hmm. I thought maybe some sort of pillow. No, pillars. Like a caterpillar. caterpillar. Was, all right. So that's just a... Butterfly. Language defect on my part. <laughs> pillars. <laughs> the country. The country's coming out in you, honey. Mario. I've got several Mario plush right now, so... I'll have to go look in my active listings and see if this is something that I want to add to another listing. Now this one's sad, but I had to save it, but I can't really save it because I don't know how to sew. But I've talked about this before. It's Lamut. Oh, I don't know where that came from. This is from the bins. So but you to Pepe Le Pew? No, but his name is Lamut. I want to say it's like horse limb or something like that. Francesca Horlin, 1980. But look, y'all, he's almost decapitated and his ears torn. But I'm going to list it as is. And hopefully somebody who knows what they're... Because otherwise, look, his face is nice. His nose is nice. He's clean. His tag. Just some somebody had an issue one day and... I was very mad at him, but I had to save him. 
All right, this says the peanut shell. I'm trying to see what else the tag is going to say for me. But the tush tag says the peanut shell. Farallon Brands. I don't know. But Elephant, Little Tutu, I'll use Ballerina. Um, probably bread and butter, though. But just cute. I pick up a lot of plush that are like college t-shirts and stuff on them. This one said Harvard. It's Chelsea Teddy Bear. Just thought it was interesting. Probably like $9.95, $12.95 for it. Princess Soft Toys. Look how cute. He's got like the big feet. He reminds me of the, the best ever ones. I forget what they're called. Long legs or something. I don't know. But this is their tag. Oh, it says Melissa and Doug. Very cute. I've not had this before. My gut says probably like 10 to $15 for it. All right, this looks definitely Toy Factory, but Frosty the Snowman. Not sure why he's purple, but that's cute. You know I had to grab it just because it's purple. Probably going to be like $7.95, $9.95. I grab these very often. This one does have its paper tag. Spark Create Imagine. I think this one's probably like 12 bucks or so, but the one that looks like a Rottweiler with the Rottweiler colors tends to do much better than just the plain ones. I think there's a gray and white one and maybe a brown one also. Look how cute. He's got, it says Huckleberry right there on his shorts he is a and a plush just adorable definitely vintage i don't know probably will list him unless i find another listed but a lot of times y'all i don't find especially with this vintage stuff that one that is exactly like the one i have but my gut would say probably 25 or 30 dollars for him is he from the tombstone movie i don't think so why? What's in the Tombstone movie that's Huckleberry? Val Kilmer. Playing Doc... Doc uh... Alright, see, I about messed up. I about called him Doc Hollywood. Holiday? <laughs> Doc, Doc Holiday. Doc Hollywood was Michael J. Fox. Yes. But uh, he, had, he had the line. I was like, I'm your Huckleberry. Oh, nope. Don't remember. Great movie. RJ loved it. Why, Does... Johnny Ringo, you look like somebody walked across your grave. He watches, and don't even get him into music lyrics. He knows music lyrics. If we could get rich off him knowing music, music lyrics, we'd be there. Look how cute. Horse, rainbow color, but it's Douglas. I would say probably 12 or $15 for it. Animal Adventure, 2018. He needs a bath. I think probably $10 to $15 for it. Now, I don't know why I keep doing this. First and foremost, I don't know if the bad the battery is like its own flashlight. I mean, the flashlight is all by itself, but it doesn't come off. And he needs a bath. So more than likely, he's going to end up in the tote over there of all the other plush that can't go in the washing machine but need extensive cleaning. But we'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll feel encouraged to just go upstairs and what I'll do is like hold this and dunk this in water and try to scrub it the best I can with detergent and then just do a whole lot of rinsing. But very cute. I love the older Blue's Clues stuff. The new stuff, not so much anymore. It needs to be a washing machine where you could hang this from a string and put it in there and just let it spin around and clean that while yeah. this is hanging out. <laughs> no. I don't know. Oh, this is Hobby Lobby. Needs a bath. I do well with Hobby Lobby plush. A lot of it's still bread and butter, but I sell it pretty quickly. How cute. Again, needs a bath. He's rust, 
and his name is Melvin. Melvin the Mouse. And it says, I'm yours. I do not think these strings were original, so I will more than likely just clip them right on off. But look how cute. I'd say 12 to 15 for him. Now, y'all, you know I'm always, based on experience, I say those prices, but, you know, I try if I have real sold comps that's what i'll try to i try to put in these videos or sometimes my own listed price what i decide to really list it for but you know it's just based on experience 24 years this month oh yeah i just got my little note that says yeah you've grown a year older with us on ebay so you frequently can't find that bear you're mm -hmm. not going to find it i mean that nope. one you might but you frequently can't find that bear so you take that brand that brand cuddle it that size this size find a bear similar to it mm -hmm. if you can't find a bear you'll find a dog of Something. cuddle wit and yes. give it your best guess maybe price a little bit higher unless everything's low maybe add a few dollars and then put best offer on it because so many things you're not going to find the exact name for or, or not the exact you're not going to find a name because most of them don't have don't a name don't have names or you won't find the exact one and you just have to go with a close estimate right and i don't only base it on solds you have to go look at what's listed too because y'all i have seen solds where somebody sold something for two dollars but there's others listed for you know 15 20 25 dollars so you know don't take what's sold because sometimes it's just ridiculousness and so you've got to kind of balance both out you know if something sold for ten dollars in the solds but there are several listed for fifty dollars i'm probably going to go ahead and list mine for the fifty dollars and see what happens so you just kind of got to you know finesse with it a little but this is cuddle wit vintage it needs a bath but something like this i'd probably list it between 15 and 20. Pillow Pals. Somebody asked me why I always call these Pillow Pals. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe the paper tag says Pillow Pals, but I don't remember. Somewhere I've come up with that word, but no, the tags are just plain old tie. This one is 1995. But I've always called these little flat ones like this Pillow Pals. And I, it probably is on the ear tag, but of course I don't have one right now to see. How cute. Raccoon, Aurora. Just, I love this fur. I'm thinking still probably 12 or so for it. Rabbit. This one is soft and squishy, but a little harder squishy than normal. It is Animal Adventure. 2022. This thing didn't stick around very long in somebody's home. Love it. I'm thinking probably $15 to $20 for it. Unless it's like something unique. You never know. I didn't want to embarrass you all ago when you were talking about the Pillow Pals. Why? Uh, well, I mean, you, you supposedly had all this experience and didn't know the answer. I know the answer. What does it because say? Because it's inside the tag. It is inside it's, the yeah, towel. Should, and that's what I said before. You should know that sort of thing. I know it. You should know uh, it. But you know what? How often do I look inside the tags? I have just started calling them pillow pals. Or, and you just looked it up on... I saw you on your phone. I was texting somebody. Uh-huh. I was not looking that up on <laughs> Google. So they do say pillow pals inside, inside the tag. Inside the tag, yes. I can show you a picture, but not you that I found what? on Google just I now. I know. Years and years... I don't look inside the tags anymore. But, all right. Two loveys. Let me see what brand this is. Cloud Island. Some of these are bread and butter, and then there are some that are high dollar. I do not know for this one. And this looks like maybe Carter's. Nope. Huh. Levtex Baby. Let me show you guys. Left text baby. Never heard of it. 
What? I just heard the B-52s in my head. Sorry. I, I promise I won't sing, but that just, <laughs> I, I, it just kind of. Very cute. Don't know about this brand. It's a nice quality. So I'm hoping over 15 for it. Now this is interesting. It says Moody by Aurora. But he's got his own little tag. Look. You have a butt tag that says Moody by God. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm letting that one go. Letting it go. Look how cute. Definitely needs a bath, but I have never seen one of these before. I'm hoping he's over $15. Coles Cares. This is um, Snoopy. I'm trying to think if I've listed a uh, Woodstock recently. If I do have a Woodstock, then I will go ahead and put them together maybe. Build a bear. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Look, he's got little heart feet. Got the older tag. Most build a bears, uh, especially the bears and the dogs, I list usually like nine ninety five, and I'll sell them for probably between eight and nine ninety five. This is the Barrington collection. Look how cute. I wonder what kind of dog this is. Looks like a. A golden, right? Yeah, a golden lab. All I could come up with was golden retriever, but the snout is not long enough for a lab. They have longer snouts, I think. So which one is it? You said lab, and then you said retriever. I, I, all I, could, I was thinking of lab, but all I could think of was retriever, but it's oh. not long enough hair to be a retriever. Right. And it's not long enough snout, I don't think, to be a lab. And I don't think it's a long enough snout to even be a golden retriever either, because they have, I think they have longer snouts. I don't know. What do you guys think? Don't know. Hopefully Google Lens will, it, it's usually really good about showing me the dog breeds. So we'll see. I'm hoping he's maybe like 12 plus also. Look, Rottweiler. It's Toy Factory, but look how cute it is. I'm hoping maybe 15 or so for it. It does have the little hang string on it like it was a carnival type thing. This says Girls Nation. I think that's Aurora. Yes. Look, Aurora tag. I think I've had this before. It's probably bread and butter. But she says girls on the back. She's probably got a name that I'm unaware of at this point. But very cute. Nice condition. Clifford. I pick up all things Clifford. A lot of these are like scholastic books and stuff like that. It, if I have another one listed, I might make a small lot. If not, I'll just list it by itself. Probably though, still like eight to 12. All right, I had to look this, look up a golden lab picture. And it seems like maybe when they're puppies, which this has a definite puppy face to it, right? Mm -hmm. That the snouts are shorter. So that might, this might be a golden lab puppy because it's a puppy face, not a full-grown dog face. face. So yep. I would probably go with Golden Lab. Yep. All righty. Y'all, this is Department 56. But I have learned from another previous one that I tried. I could not get this to not be yellowed. I'm not sure what's up with this. It's all nylon. But I washed the other one several times. And it never came back to night like a nice white color and this one you can see look it's just got lots of yellowing on it I don't know I'll try again those do really well if they were nice and clean all right this is gunned it says Mackey quacky duck does have a number, a code on there. I always include these codes in my listings. That helps people who have, are looking for this specific sized duck. I've been looking, waiting for this. 
I found a couple of these Eden vintage like rattle stroller type plush. I'm going to probably make a lot of them, but I probably will still list it for, you know, $30 plus. I think, I think I have three of them. I can't quite remember, but definitely needs a bath. Look how cute. This is BJ, right? From Barney. Yeah, the other one's Baby Bop. It's one of those nylon bath plush. I talked about this in a recent one. There's, several, there's Blue's Clues has one, Sesame Street has one, and there's others, but they're this nylon stuff and they were made to go in the bathtub with your child. This one definitely needs a bath. Just very cute. I don't know, I'm hoping maybe 20 or more for him. And there's more of these somewhere, because I remember grabbing them. But it's those, um, just, it's like an anime, like that looks like a, like a, a sushi look. That's like the seaweed going around it. Just neat. But I don't think they're gunned. Like the, the lazy egg looking ones. But just interesting. And I found a bunch of these. I'm not quite sure where else they are in all these bags. And then two Care Bears. This one's vintage. It has this kind of tag. Right? They are Kenner. Usually the 80s. This one is Love A Lot Bear. They were also American Greetings. These, I do not ship these in poly bags or bubble mailers. I don't, the, they just can easily get misshaped. I just don't. Even though, because I'm going to mail them in a box, more than likely they're going to be over a pound. I just can't. And then if you wash these, you've got to be very careful to disclose the condition of the heart here, because a lot of times that gets scratched off. And then these tags will fade after the first wash. Obviously, this one has never been washed before because the tag is mint and the heart is. But a lot of these are only like, unfortunately, unless it's one of the super rare ones, they're like $10 to $15. And then this. This is more contemporary. Do not know his name. It says Oopsie Bear. Never have had it. He's from 2007. Don't know. But very interesting. I do really well with Care Bears. All Care Bears, including the Cousins also. But even these contemporary ones, even the small ones. So I always pick up Care Bears. All right. That's it. That was another bag. Well, I got a partial here that will go in the next video. Plowing through them. I've got stuff to get listed and washed. Lots of stuff to get washed. But, you know... I'm determined by the end of this month to have most of it done because I'm considering doing a little sourcing trip real soon. Kind of as a uh, good girl. Good girl. You got your stuff dealt with. Um, so I, I'm working hard towards that. Get away from me. No. No. I need my chauffeur. He has to drive that big truck. I can't drive that big truck, y'all. Can't do it. It is just too big and I can't manage it but we'll have fun if we get to go at the end of the month. All right, bye.